Welcome, welcome. This is 202. I just want to talk about what we're doing here today on a Saturday with some kind of crazy uh, visuals on the wall. Today is about self-awareness. This is a summit where we bring students from Biz202, which is Foundations and Collaborative Work Environments, together to help them build self-awareness and develop team relationships. We work through what's called the Motivational Value System, which is developed by the Strengths Deployment Inventory. We're the first undergrad school in Canada to partner with this company, and what they're doing is they're providing us with the ability to look at people rather than their culture and their race and their gender and all the other things, we're looking at their motivations, what they care about. They learn how to make diverse teams more productive. MDS is fairly simple. It uses three colors, red to represent action-oriented, performance-oriented things, green, which is very much a process orientation to how I view the world, and blue, which is about people and relationships. And then there's a blending of those colors through that triangle as well. In the very middle is a group called The Hub, which we also find a lot of people in which is the blending of the other six together, really ultimately creating seven different kinds of motivational value systems. So what we're seeing is a bit of a shift as we begin to go around the triangle. We're, we're shifting from the blue side, we're now beginning to bleed some red energy, shall we say, into this particular group. So of course there's caring for people in this group, but there's also a very powerful drive for results as well too. Our definition of an effective team is a team that acknowledges that risks are actually opportunities um, for success. Seeing failure as opportunity, so we want a team that's able to see that as a good thing, something that we can learn from and actually accomplish more with. When you see the differences in the way that people act and behave, it starts to create some lights for people to say, wait a minute, I now understand where he or she is coming from and I can step back from my triggers, which frustrate me and make me go crazy, to actually listen more effectively and more collaboratively. I actually love this, finding out about what other people, like in the different zones, are like, how they perceive situations, what they respond to. I land in the red zone, and what that means is that I like to know the project that I'm working on. The outcomes are dependent on me, and they're my responsibility. And that actually makes me feel quite empowered. It helps us understand each other, but also helps us understand how to understand each other. For example, we have one guy in our group, he's heavily agreed. And so his personality is analytical and he doesn't talk as much, but we all know that he thinks really well. He's not just a quiet kid. We know how to work with him. Business 202 is really about how to understand how to work with people. If you're going to teach people that, you need to have assignments where they actually have to do something with other people. So we have students market, forecast, and manage a product that they're selling in the bookstore here at SFU. For the bookstore assignment, we actually make sure that they see difference and diversity within their task teams, which are focused on marketing or operations. They are diversified by their motivational value systems. The reason we think experiential is important is it gets students outside of the classroom environment where they think they're just interacting with the textbook. What SFU has been able to do is draw upon incredibly diverse populations. If they don't have the skills about how to work together effectively, it's going to be really tough for them. The problem on one hand is that diversity of intellect, of language, of different backgrounds, but the incredible opportunity is when you bring those together, man, you've got something that can be really, really powerful. 